each and all my gamers and NFT enthusiasts, the Hip Hop Uncensored Podcast is hooked up with the Lightest Sphere Network to offer you something special. Go to the top line of the description box and click on the link to play a season preview of the game Finesse Shadow Wars. It's brought to you by play.finesse.fun. Go to the top line of the description box if you went to NFTs and if you went to gaming. Go have non-stop fun. Tell me your boy Oga sent you. Link is the top line of the description box. Play.finesse.fun. Go get it. All right, YouTuber and entrepreneur Umi and the Hellcat just got sentenced in federal court. Now, if you haven't been following Umi, he has a sneaker empire, you know, um, a car empire, and just a well-off businessman, to say the least. Now, he was facing a lot of time in the feds up to 500 years the last i heard and um he walked out of court today and he told everyone how long that the feds gave him now i'm gonna give you a little bit more of the backstory but let's hear let's hear what umi said and then i'll be back to talk about what he was charged with and how he made out so i've been away from social media for a while because this is the moment i've been dreading uh facing 27 and a half years we all know it started at 500 but um i just got sentenced today i feel like the judge was super fair um he heard everyone's testimony about my character everyone who came to court the judge ordered me uh to 66 months in federal prison which um i feel as though it's fair for especially how, how much money i made I had to pay uh, 10 point something million in restitution, which they already have, which will be applied to the, to which they already got the money now. And I got to pay another 5.7 million in restitution to the IRS. So, you know, I'll be home in the next two to three years. I hope you guys continue to uh, support Reloaded Universe. I got 60 days. All right, so Omi and the Hellcat announcing that he received five years in the feds um 60 days he'll get get a chance to get himself together be with his family before he turned himself in now he says that they already got 10 million dollars from him and he has to pay another five million dollars to the irs probably for the taxes I'm, I'm pretty sure um that he was charged with tax evasion you know as well now as the judge sentenced him today he said 30 million dollars is a lot of money but tangible objects aren't always everything you have a large following and there may, may be people that think if you can get away with it, they can get away with it, too. Probably, you know, I'm I'm thinking the judge probably said that because he probably didn't want to give him as much time like that. But he felt like he has to make somewhat of an example, you know, because, like, again, he may feel like other people, you know, that he, they can get away with it, too. Now, now, Omar Umi apologized to his family, his employees, and the cable companies who... Pretty much accused him of cheating them out of millions of dollars. Now, allegedly, but well, what is now found factual, what he pleaded to now is that, um, you know, he had illegal content that he sold um, through hijacked cable boxes to thousands of monthly subscribers, paying fees as low as $15 a month. Omi said on, I really didn't know the significance of the crime until I was picked up by the FBI at my home. I feel like I left, let everyone down. Now, here's what I think about the situation, because I really didn't say a lot, because we definitely have mutual friends. You know, um, my thing is like, <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I've seen mad people with, with fire sticks and get them broken and stuff like that, and you can get, you know, all the things on, whatever, whatever the case may be. I just see that all over. People listening to me right now probably have a fire stick in their house. Um, the thing is, and this is just one aspect of it, when you're making a lot of money, whether it's legitimate or illegitimate, but if, if you think it's something legitimate, you have to pay your taxes. You, ha you have to, you know, um, pay your taxes or at least file your taxes and set up some type of an arrangement with them or they will hit you with tax evasion. Now, I don't know too much of the ins and outs of the story. Honestly, um, I'm only going off what I'm reading in the newspaper clippers and things like that. But, um, you know, five years I think is a little excessive. But, hey, 
You know, I guess it was a lot of people, a lot of cable companies and whatnot that he, you know, pissed off. But again, I see it going on, you know, and I think more so is probably maybe the amount of money that he was able to amass from this. But when you look at the brother, when you look at his different business ventures, like he could have did anything and he is doing, he's doing the sneaker thing, the clothing. Like some people are just gifted, like whatever they put their hands on is going to turn to gold. And I think Umi's one of those people. You know, and I think Umi's definitely one of those people. But um, I'm I'm happy for him, man, that he will definitely because I was from from what I heard, I thought he's going to get more time. But I'm glad that he got, you know, or he's going to be able to, you know, learn from this, move on, because I watched his videos and I see that he got a family, a son and all that. He's going to have to do a little time, sit down and get right back out there to doing what he's doing, man. So I'm definitely, you know, excited, you know, for him to get through the situation and um he and as a businessman he inspires me because I'm like God damn like this dude is just killing it like how's he you know what I mean doing what he's doing man it's crazy but at the end of the day it's nothing but motivation and uh, like I said hopefully one day we will have an opportunity to interview Umi and the Hellcat and uh, we'll go from there but let me know what you guys think in the comments section Umi and the Hellcat getting getting five years in prison who have sixty days before we have to turn himself in. And uh, complete that time at the fest. Now, I'm not sure if he can get out early. I'm not sure how that works. I don't know if he has any time served. I don't remember him actually being in for a long time. So I'm not sure how that situation is going to work. Um, also, I should have said this at the beginning. But the footage is by way of Philly First 48 off of Instagram. Philly First 48. Go check out the Instagram channel. And go check out the YouTube channel. It's called Philly First 48. And tell him, oh God, from Hip Hop News Uncensored sent you. Leave a comment below. Smash the like button. Peace.